It is absolutely crucial to make sure that you are planned and trained, of course, before you go out on a ceremony. Our daily training, what it would look like is pretty much training on how to fold the flag, color ceremonies, which we do at retirements and that we do at promotion ceremonies, and then carrying the casket, which is what we call pall bearing. And those are pretty much what we train on. Everything that we do, we try to train them to, to have some type of motivation and confidence because you could be standing in a, in a funeral in the hot sun for an hour to an hour and a half waiting for, you know, just to fold a flag. And that's very important to be able to do that, to build up the stamina to do that. The mission is to be able to provide services for funeral honors and for colors requests. Something that you learn in Honor Guard is the skill of training others, being accountable for others, and leading others, and being able to do that with like a calm confidence. It is a very fulfilling job, and it has been able to give me skills that I didn't think that I was lacking on. It was able to show me what I needed to work on and, and kind of give me a confidence. After you graduate basic training, you kind of have that bleed blue mentality and then you put on senior airmen after two years and some of that goes away. You know, you go to the day-to-day -day task, if you're in personnel, finance, medical field, you go do your job early in the morning and then you come back home and you start playing video games or go to school and you kind of, kind of lose that, you know, pride in a way. Honor Guard, it's something that definitely re you you uh, over time and even when I talk to seniors and chiefs now, they say, oh yeah, I remember being an honor guard, that was the best time of my life and I wish I could go back.